Lately, I've been seeing a lot of paper mache bowls in high-end decor, and I wanted to try to recreate one on my own. So for this project, I'm gonna be using craft paper. I'm gonna start by cutting my craft paper down in strips. So I got a large roll from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna fold it over until I can cut it into smaller strips. Now don't worry if your strips aren't perfect, they do not need to be by any means. You're also going to need some sort of bowl or shape to mold your paper mache around. So I just grabbed this plastic bowl from Amazon. I'm gonna wrap it with a trash bag and then tape it in place. Next, I'm gonna create my paper mache paste. So I'm gonna be mixing flour with water. You want your paste to be kind of be a thin consistency so that it'll hold up as a paste. Next, I'm gonna start by putting my strips onto my bowl. So I will dip them into the paste. Then I'm gonna wring off any excess paste and I'll add it to the outside of my bowl. I started down at the base and then I kind of wrapped them around the edges and then kind of finished it off at the top. Now with all paper mache, you're gonna have to let it dry overnight before you see how it turned out. I did realize that once it dried, it was a little too white, like I saw too much of the flower, and I wanted it to have more of that brown color. So I went back in and added another layer to the outside. This doesn't hurt it at all. It's just gonna actually make it more sturdy. and then I'll let that dry for another night. Once that dries, I can remove the bowl from the inside. To fill it, I just put some filler down at the base. You can use sacks of any kind, and then I'm gonna top it off with some Dollar Tree moss. And here's how my paper mache bowl turned out. Seven dollars for this? This looks like Pottery Barn. It's got this really like in basket weave detail on it. You could put this in your, well they're saying a medium canister. This would be great for your bathroom, kitchen, or just sitting out as like a decorative item. I'm getting this. I wanted to add a knob to the top of my canister. So I had this hexagon bead that I thought would be perfect for it. And so I'm just going to start by adding wood filler to the hole on the bead because I didn't want that to show through. So I'm just gonna build up the wood filler. Once that has a chance to dry, I'm gonna come back in and just sand it down with some sandpaper. Now I wasn't sure if I wanted the hexagon knob or if I wanted to go more traditional. So I actually spray painted two of the knobs. So I went in and sprayed them both with two coats of a white matte spray paint. In the end, I decided to go with the hexagon bead. I just added it to the top of my container with some clear Gorilla Glue. This was a quick DIY, but I think it added a little bit extra to this canister. And I wanted to show you guys how beads are a very simple, inexpensive thing you can use to create knobs. So you don't always have to spend a ton of money to create knobs, especially in a situation like this where it's not being pulled on a cabinet. It's just sitting decoratively on top of this canister. On the side of my kitchen cabinets, I have a couple of cutting boards that are over there. They're kind of like a medium stain cutting board color. And I've been noticing a lot more darker stains and black stains. So I wanted to add a cutting board that was a little bit heavier and darker. So I found this cutting board at Ikea. It's really affordably priced and I'm gonna be using the darkest stain color I have. Now to stain an item, what I like to do is just use a foam brush and I'm going to paint it onto my piece and I'll immediately come in, take the stain off with a paper towel. Now, since I wanted this stain to be really dark, I decided to actually do two coats. So I added some additional stain to it and wiped it off with a paper towel.
to hang it on the side of my cabinets. I'm gonna add some twine to it. I'm just gonna cut some twine off and tie it at the top. And here's how it looks on the side of my kitchen cabinets. Now these would also really be great in a grouping sitting out on like the backsplash of your counters as well. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.